to go or so and just outside the middles in the individual pursuit so Billy Lister, as we mentioned a C1 athlete so again that factor percentage will be applied to his final time evening out the competition so the C1 category, the athletes with the most impairments, the sliding scale up to C2 and then C3. And if you're new to this discipline of the Paralympic Games, the classification goes from C1 right up to C5. And often there are categories combined in certain events with a factor time applied. Billy Lister is away, the C1 classification athlete who came sixth in the C1 3000 metres individual pursuit, 34 years of age. So a cautious start from Lister and as a result two seconds of the time to beat. And now completes the first lap and just losing ground there at 3.142. But it seems as though he reacted there up the straight and is now starting to lift uh, the tempo. He seems to be surging, but then immediately losing ground again. As we have a look, yes, back to 4.32 now. Another one that is competing in four disciplines here at the Rio Paralympic Games. So quite commonly we're seeing with a number of these track athletes, they will cross disciplines to the road events, which are in the second week of the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games, the first four days of competition dedicated to track cycling. We see Billy Lister just slipping off the pace a little further, but he's doing well. He is relatively, you know, he is holding, but not slipping away too much. 124.8. 580 gets ratified to 118.397. 118.397. So, of the seven riders, we can work out a bit of a standard now with Billy Lister.